Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month. My name's Bob Willis. Defect of the Month is taken from the NPL Defect Database. This month, let's talk about fillet lifting. Now, fillet lifting is associated with lead-free technology. However, it has been seen associated with pad lifting on very thick multi-layer boards in the past with tin lead technology. Fundamentally, fillet lifting can be the solder fillet on a plated through hole lifting from the surface of the pad. And this is all to do with expansion and contraction of the printed circuit board and the solidification of the solder joint. In the case of tin lead technology, the same thing can occur on very thick multi-layer boards where the board expands during the soldering process and when the solder solidifies, the pad is actually lifted from the surface of the board. In the case of fillet lifting, where the solder fillet lifts from the surface of the pad and is slightly lifted from the pad surface, there is no evidence that solder reliability is affected. However, it is mostly associated with lead-free technology. In the case when the solder fillet wets securely to the surface of the pad, and the pad lifts with the solder fillet during the solidification of the solder alloy, there could possibly be separation between the pad and a track feeding into that pad on the printed circuit board. Now fillet lifting and pad lifting can be seen on wave soldering, selective soldering, and it can also be seen on pin in hole intrusive reflow. Criteria for these issues are covered in the IPC 610 specification. Another opportunity to solve your soldering process problems has been brought to you by IPC. This is the NPL Defect Database Live, a feature that has been organized at Apex this year. So why not join us on stand 217 at Apex for free consultancy on any of your process defects.